What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33, where I get messages from the Divine and I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energy that would not benefit this message. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, my ancestors, my spirit guides of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current energy for the collective. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Clear and accurate messages. Welcome all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails. I appreciate you guys for all of the love and the support you show to me in the channel. I appreciate you. All right, so let's get into the energy and see what's going on. What's the message? All right. All right, let's see. What's the message, Spirit, for the collective? What is the message? All right, so we have temperance. Okay. So something could be needing some patience. We have Hermit. Queen of Cups. We have Chariot. Page of Wands. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So... I'm seeing for somebody, somebody could be waiting for some things to be balanced out in a situation. Okay, somebody could be waiting for things to be balanced out. Somebody could be uh need, like needing to move and somebody may not have the money to move or something like that. Okay. But divine could be nudging somebody to really like set that set their priorities. So this could be somebody that they know they need to move. This is not for everybody. This is for somebody that know that they need to move. But this person could be like spending their money on things that is not necessary. And you know divine is nudging you to move or is saying that you know you're going to have to move. But for somebody, somebody could be spending their money on like unnecessary shit. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, somebody could be like spending their money on unnecessary shit. Something to do with a Sagittarius, Virgo, Cancer, Strong Cancer, Energy. Yeah, the vine could be nudging somebody to like really uh, soul search about what it is that you need to do. Because somebody's priorities is not in order. Somebody needs to set their priorities. Okay. Clarify temperance. All right. Clarify temperance. Hermit. All right. Strong Virgo. Yeah. Passion. Ace of Wands. Yes. I'm seeing that somebody could be just trying to see what the fuck they need to do somebody could be going within and seeing what they need to do or somebody is led to somebody could feel like that they don't have enough money to do something clarify hermit somebody could also be getting like a building built from the ground up is also what i'm hearing all right so we have seven of cups and we have the knight of swords I'm seeing that somebody could be like very confused, but also like in very impulsive as well. So somebody could be thinking about just taking a leap and doing something, but this person is not thinking like they're not thinking like clearly, like somebody is just going off of impulse here. Okay. Is what I'm seeing here, but somebody is not like thinking clearly though. Okay. About the moves that they need to make in the situation. So somebody needs to like, you know, change their perspective or look at things in a different light. Okay. It's also what I'm hearing. All 
Also, I'm hearing second message is somebody could be like in some kind of relationship or in some kind of like fling or, you know, friends with benefits kind of energy. And somebody could be thinking that things will be balanced out within this connection. So this could be a connection where it's like sex based, right? Um, and somebody could feel like that things will be balanced out. Like somebody is going to look at them as more than sex. Okay. But what I'm seeing is somebody going to still be by themselves. Somebody is just going to see that, you know, somebody still look at them as sex with benefits. And then somebody may get upset in a situation because things are not being balanced out. Somebody is still looked at as, you know, a piece of ass. Okay. Is what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Ace of swords. Somebody is going to have some clarity about this. Clarify Queen of Cups. Okay, so we got Eight of Swords that wanted to go in the reverse. And we got Ten of Pentacles. I feel like that somebody could feel like that they can, whoever this person is, that they feel like, um, like, don't look at them as more than just sex. Somebody could feel like that this person could get them out of a very, like, tight situation very fucked up situation so somebody is trying to like hold on to like hope for this person to come around because somebody know that somebody is like somebody could be known all over the world is what i'm hearing somebody could be known all over the world but somebody could feel like that this person could like or this person could be in some kind of spotlight but whoever is in this ten of pentacles energy when it comes to this connection Somebody could feel like that this person could get them out of a situation because somebody could be in a tight situation and this could be like a lovers with benefits, you know, friends with benefits kind of vibe. But one person could look at somebody like, man, if this person, I'm going to try to see if I can get this person to commit to me because I know this person is able to um, get me out of a very fucked up situation. Queen of Pentacles. Y'all see what that says. Very generous. Okay. With insecurity. So somebody really feel like that somebody could do this. Yeah. I spit the deck on the lovers. Okay. Somebody feel like that somebody could do this for them. So somebody trying to hold up and wait and see if it's going to be more than just friends with benefits. Clarify Chariot. Clarify chariot. Yeah, Queen of Swords and Five of Cups, but no. <laughs> Somebody is gonna get cut off. Yeah. <laughs> Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Five of Cups and Queen of Swords. Somebody's gonna get cut off. Yep. And somebody gonna feel sad <laughs> about the situation. But somebody is gonna still try to come towards this person, though. Even though somebody may end up just cutting somebody off or speaking some kind of truth that makes somebody sad. Somebody is still very determined and going to try to go towards somebody, though. Even though if somebody say, like, you know, well, I don't really look at you like that. Or I ain't fucking with you like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't really want more with you than what this is. Somebody is going to still try to, like, go towards somebody. Is what I'm seeing here. Page of Wands. Clarify Page of Wands. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yep. Three of Pentacles. Yep. Because somebody thought that if they start off like this, somebody thought that they was going to be able to hook somebody and have somebody doing what they wanted them to do, but... All it did was Knight of Wands in the reverse. Somebody is not, you know, interested and attracted, attracted anymore on trying to collaborate with somebody anymore. Okay. We got two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here and two of Pentacles over here. The reason why somebody um could be like this, somebody could have like other people on the side too. So somebody is like, well, no, I don't really look at you like that. Like, you know, I'm going to just go ahead on 
okay? But somebody could have somebody else on the side that they could really fuck with, okay? Somebody, also what I'm hearing, somebody could have like, somebody could have somebody that's a truck driver. Their mate could be a truck driver or their mate could just travel a lot. Somebody could have like little flings that they have in between. And um, when the person comes back home, you know, they be all in this person's face. They be all good with this person. But this person be having like little flings. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it don't, it don't never go anywhere past, you know, sex with benefits. But somebody, they had these little flings and stuff like that. Why they partner be either somebody could do truck, like, you know, they have their CDLs. Or somebody could just travel a lot. And this person could have, like, a lot of, like, um, like little flings and stuff like that. Okay? Is what I'm seeing here. But somebody could have had a fling with somebody that this person could have wanted, like, more. But this person, the other person was like, well, no, nah, you know, this was it. You know, I, I ain't really like want nothing else. You know what I'm saying? And this person, that's because this person could either have somebody else or they could be in a whole nother relationship. Like where they could, where they actually, you know, could feel like they committed to, you know, whatever. Okay. So this could be enlightenment for somebody, you know, dealing with this kind of situation, you know, um, Somebody, they just, they just cool with just sex. You know, it's not, somebody don't want nothing more with somebody. But I'm seeing that somebody keep trying to push themselves on somebody to try to get them to want more. But somebody don't want more. Yeah, somebody could feel like that they have chemistry with somebody, but somebody is like, well, no, nah, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't fucking with you like you fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at that. Unrequited love. Yeah, somebody like, I ain't, mm -mm. you know, I ain't fucking with you like that. That's what I'm seeing here. Yep, getting to know each other. Y'all, look what fell on the floor. Unrequited love fell on the floor. I'm telling y'all, children, okay, and we have reconciliation. And we have give your relationship a chance. But you see how this person looking like, ah, oh, no, nah, I don't want, mm -mm, nah. <laughs> okay. Like somebody could have children. For some of y'all, this could have happened like in the past with you. And this person want to come back to you. Okay. All right. Maybe for some of y'all, this happened in the past. And you let this person go. And now this person want to come back in. Okay, y'all ain't gonna be fucking with it though. Is what I'm saying. You ain't you ain't gonna be fucking with it. You ain't gonna be fucking with it. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. Okay. Also, I'm seeing with the first situation when I said you know, um, something with somebody moving, somebody could. Somebody could have felt like they was going to be moving with somebody, but somebody could have got cut off. And now this person could be in a situation where they don't know like what to do and how to do it so they can, they can move because somebody could be like in between finances, somebody finances is up and down. So somebody don't really have the money to move because somebody was going to move with somebody, but they cut this person off. So it's like now somebody could be solo. This person could still want to move, but this person may not have like the money to really move for real. Okay. But I am seeing that somebody may get some help from somebody here that's very financially secure. All right. To help them move here. All right. We got strong Virgo. Strong Cancer. We got Aquarius, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Okay. So only take what resonate and leave the rest. Okay. Only take what resonate. Leave the rest. All right. 
current energy spirit. Somebody could be getting a um, house built from the ground up as well. And maybe somebody is running into a situation where funds could be looking low. Okay. All right. Or something like that. Somebody could have ran into like a financial hardship when it came to like a property, a property building from the ground up. But I am seeing that somebody is going to have some kind of help, whether you go and fill out for a loan and you get a loan to help you or something like that. You will get some kind of help with that. Okay. Current energy. So that's what I'm seeing with that, y'all. Current energy. So somebody could be middle class. Somebody could love suspense movies. Somebody could have a sleeve tattoo. TV series. Somebody could be right-handed. Yeah, I'm telling y'all some real ass shit. Somebody could have short eyelashes, real or fake. We have 70s. Somebody could love wearing white socks or you have white socks on while you're watching me. <laughs> we have O. We have T. I'm hearing Tommy or Tony. All right. Well, I'm a, I think that's the yeah. W. We have O again. That air sign of hater, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Something about a boat or a yacht. We have R. Somebody could have high cheekbones, love and or romantic movies. We have Singer. We have L. Somebody could love wearing buns in their head. We have Flight. Joggers. Five. Somebody could have five children. Something to do with May could be significant. Somebody could be small. Club employee. We have rings, cotton panties, we have 60s, we have trainer or trainee, somebody could have colored eyes, all right, some do a Virgo, and we got nose piercing. So somebody's birthday could be in um, September or May. September or May. Something with 59 or 95. May 5th, May 9th, September 9th, September 5th. Okay. Let's see, any other messages, Spirit? Something about the zoo could be significant. So somebody could have just recently went to the zoo or took their kids to the zoo. Or maybe somebody could have worked at the zoo before. Maybe somebody planning on going to the zoo. I'm hearing Rosalind. Rosé. Somebody could love Rosé. Alright, I'm hearing Tori. Tori. Something with Wooten. Wooten. I said Tommy, Tommy and Tony and Tori. Okay. All right, you guys, I believe I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look at the description box below for any other information about me with the services that I provide. And with that, you guys, Peace and love.